Hi DLRs, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to disable a long range radio on a Vista security system. There's a few instances where you may want to do this. One is if you move into a home and you find there's a Vista on the wall and it has an IP or a GSM communicator installed on it. If the IP GSM is enabled in programming, you're going to see a check 103 on your keypad. What that's telling you is that the system is looking for a connection to the AlarmNet server and it's not finding one. If you do want to use the system as a local security system, it's totally fine. You'll just want to disable the, the IP GSM option in programming to prevent that 103 from showing up on a keypad. Now, this command is different than enabling the internal IP or GSM path on a Vista 21 IP system. It's a little unique as it has an onboard Ethernet jack and an onboard cellular module. This command tells the system to look for an IP or GSM communicator. So if you do want to use a standalone communicator on this system for whatever reason, it is totally compatible and this option will still need to be enabled. On the 21 IP system itself, if you want to use a standalone module, you'll have to power the system down 100% and then move this jumper from the top two pins to the bottom, or the bottom pin. It's only got three pins in it, so you're going to want to move it from these to these. When you power it back up, with your communication device attached to the ECP bus on the system, you'll be able to configure your Vista security system to use a standalone module. That is absolutely not recommended as the system has an onboard Ethernet jack and you can buy a proprietary cellular communicator for the system. But just know that this command, it covers all aspects of IP or GSM communication. On a 20 or on a 20P or on a 15P, the boards look different. They don't have these onboard communicators, and this command literally tells the panel to look for the communication path out of an IP or GSM communicator. Now, to enable it, it's very easy. Enable or disable it. What you have to do is you have to go into installer programming. So you have to enter your installer code and then 800 on the keypad. Ours is the default 4112, so we're going to enter it. And as you can see, it says installer code 20, which means that we're in installer programming. So now to disable the long range radio on our system, we're going to do star 29. And as you can see, it says enable IP or GSM. Zero for no, one for yes. It's as easy as that. So to turn it off, we're going to do zero and then star. And as you can see, it took it. Star 99 to exit programming. And you're all set. Now the system has been disabled as far as the IP GSM option goes. Another reason which you, may want, which you may want to use this in, or another situation, is if you want to use the, uh, the phone connection on your system, the POTS connection, which connects to an analog phone line. If you only want to use that, you will want to disable the long range radio option on the system. That's how to disable a long range radio on a Vista system. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want us to update you about future videos. And if you have any security questions about anything, head over to our website, give us a call, or send us an email. Thanks for watching and have a great day.